Okay, let's work on this question, which is question number five in the topic four problem set in Chem 11. This question gives us a stock solution of perchloric acid, and it says that it contains 70.5% of perchloric acid by mass. And it says the density of the solution is 1.67 grams per mil. What's the molarity of the solution? So let's kind of work um, backwards here, starting with the thing that we're looking for, which is the molarity. So if we want molarity of perchloric acid, remember perchloric acid is... Uh, is HClO4. What we're gonna need is the number of moles of the perchloric acid over the volume of the solution of perchloric acid, right? And so we need a couple of numbers here. We need the number of moles and we need the volume. And how do we get that, those numbers? Well, we were told that the perchloric acid solution is 70.5% perchloric acid. So if you imagine this is the solution, 70.5% of the solution is the actual acid. And then the rest, which is going to be 29.5% is water. If we assume that we have 100 grams of this solution, then that means 70.5 grams of that solution is going to be your actual acid and 29.5 grams is water. And so we can use that information of mass to convert to number of moles of the perchloric acid, which is the numerator here. So let's calculate that out. The number of moles of the perchloric acid is just going to be 70.5 grams divided by the molar mass of perchloric acid, which is 100.4585 grams, or you can round it to 100 grams per mole there. You're going to get 0.7017 seven eight moles of perchloric acid now that's the number of moles what about the volume well the volume the volume of the solution so we were given density of the solution so if you have density and then you also know the mass of the solution since we're assuming 100 grams that allows us to calculate the volume so density is mass over volume so that means volume must be mass over density we assume 100 grams of the solution and then we're going to divide this by the density of the solution which is 1.67 grams per mil and so that would leave us with 59.88 milliliter or if we change this to liter it'll be 0 0.05988 liter so now that we have both of the numbers we need the number of moles and the volume we can just divide them to get the molarity so take 0 0.70178 divided by 0 0.05988 liter and that should give us 11.72 molar, which is the answer.